My favorite thing to explore is food. Join me, Kate Hardy Buckley, <laughs> as I take on a challenge from a local chef to find the best ingredients for a very special dinner. <laughs> I've come to meet Nuno Mendes, the chef who's said to have made Portuguese food cool. <laughs> Nuno has just opened a new restaurant in the Bairro Alto Hotel. Well, cheers, huh? Cheers, yeah. <laughs> to ensure I bring along the right ingredients, Nuno wants to help me get my bearings from the Santa Justa elevator. So tonight we're going to need a um, couple of things. One of them is actually to find some lovely coriander. You see where that little dome over there is? Yes. So we're going to send you over there. That's Mercado da Ribeira. It's one of the oldest markets in town. What's our main ingredient? Our main ingredient is going to be goose barnacles. We've arranged for you to meet a fisherman and you're going to go catch him. The Moors in the 8th century introduced coriander to the cuisine here, but it was the Portuguese explorers during the Age of Discovery that really added to the repertoire of flavors. In Portuguese gastronomy, we use a lot of cinnamon. I like to put it near my bed and you can smell it in the air when, when yeah, you're going to very, sleep. It's very prodigiac. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> prodigiac. I'll put a lot more. <laughs> Time for my appointment with Piteca Oliveira to try and find the gooseneck barnacles, known locally as Percheves. Oh my lord! The largest and tastiest barnacles lie on the outer rocks, where the surf throws up the plankton they feed off. <laughs> this is quite terrifying, genuinely. Fortune favors the brave here, but we're not having much luck. So it looks like we finally found a safer spot, but we're rushing against the lights and the sun's about to go down. How come you find them on some rocks and not everywhere? Like, where do they hide? The city is more complicated, but when the sea is more complicated, the access is more difficult. Oh my god, amazing! These are huge. Yeah, it tastes like the uh, Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> when I first saw what the barnacles actually look like, I kind of got a bit of a fright. But now that I've spent the last two hours with Piteco prancing around the rocks, I just think they're kind of beautiful. After such an adventurous day, the thought of a meal dished up by Nuno Mendes was a welcome reward. Yeah. Here is the coriander from the market. Awesome, thank you so much. And I got you a little surprise. Some local Gijinha to go with our dish, arroz de carabineiros, creamy rice with ruby red prawns, and my new favorites, the gooseneck barnacles. These are the ingredients that I fell in love with. This is what got me into cooking. To be able to use them in my hometown is incredible, you know. This is the fun part. The, the, the second the, fun part. The, the, the real fun part is actually catching it. Well, I challenge you these, to go and do that next time. I know, time. I know, I know. Having spent most of his adult life working abroad, Nuno's new restaurant here and his Liege Boeta recipe book, his love letter to his city, pay homage to Lisbon. Lisbon's my hometown and I feel like it's been a, a hidden gem, a hidden treasure. I want to show people how interesting the food in Lisbon is, how interestingly we eat. To join us in celebrating this city, we invited some of Lisbon's biggest foodies. And fado musician Fabia Rebaldao provided the perfect soundtrack. I've had such an adventurous and insightful time here in Lisbon and Nuno's passion for the food and for the ingredients, the flavors and the city itself are genuinely infectious and I'm left with this overwhelming desire to come back here. Obrigada. Thank you. Thank you.